so here we have a package coming from Jason, Pennsylvania. And Jason sent us an iPad Pro. This is the 10.5 inch. I do not see any papers in the package. But if Jason filled the mail-in form, we should be able to look him up. Nothing, empty box. So it was sent like this. Let me look up Jason quick and see if he filled out the mail-in form. Yes, he did. So this is the iPad Pro 10.5. Dark and light spots on the side of the screen. A local mobile repair shop attempted to replace the screen, but that did not solve the problem. So I'm thinking it's a backlight circuit. I received an estimate. Okay, great. All right, so it's a backlight issue. Spots on the screen. Let's take a look quick to see what's going on. The shop would change the screen. Looks like they sealed the screen back, so we have to attempt to open that screen again. Okay, so this is the tablet here. And just powered it on. It's charged 100%. So now if you look, you can see light and dark spots on the bottom here. I do not know if it's very visible on camera. But on the bottom, there's like light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And if we press maybe this, you can, you can kind of tell from here. It's uneven light from here. So this is something that deals with backlight. I do not see any backlight issues on the sides here. It's only on the bottom here. Customer wants it fixed, and that's what we're going to do. Let me start by removing the screen here, and then we'll get to the inside and take a look at the circuit. Uh, we do not have any circuit diagrams for this, but I've done this before, and I know where to look when dealing with the backlight circuit for this tablet. Right, let's start. Let's open up this iPad. First thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the battery, which is located right over here, next to the home button. Okay, so just disconnected the battery. Okay, it's not turning on anymore. I kept it on for a reason. So when we disconnect the battery, we know that the screen, we know that the tablet is no longer powering on. And now if I press the power button, nothing comes on the screen. Let's go ahead and disconnect the screen. And what we have to do after we disconnect the screen is we have to remove this black plate here so we can expose the motherboard. And the screen is out. Be right there. Okay, so now we exposed the motherboard. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on. Yeah. 
I want to go straight to testing this diode here and I want to test this diode that's under the frame here. So in order to get to this and this diode, I have to bend this up slightly. Let's go ahead and test. Okay, meter in diode mode. Let's test this diode here. It should read something like 0 0.14. And it's reading 0 0.145, which is good. And let's test this one here. It's reading 0 0.145. So those two diodes are good. No problems here. Oh, what's this? Look at this. It's moved. <laughs> That's it. That's the problem right there. The coil is totally broken. I mean, there's no pads on that coil. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get him another coil from the salvaged board. Can we read what's on that coil? I mean, if I did not tap this coil by mistake, maybe I would not have found out that this coil is loose. So what I'm going to do right now is remove a coil from the iPad Air 2 iPad Air 2 and iPad Pro should have the same backlight coil. Even though one of them is labeled and the other is not, it should be the 4R7 coil. I do have an iPad Air 2 salvaged tablet right here. So let's take a look under the microscope. Okay, right here. We're going to remove one of those coils. Let's prep the board here. And we're just going to add a tiny blob here. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and remove the coil from the iPad Air 2 tablet. Right here. Let's remove this coil. And go back to our iPad Pro. If we do not see light and dark spots on the bottom, the problem is fixed. Okay, so. <coughs> we'll see. And look at that. It's fixed. We do not have dark and light spots no more. Okay, let me see if the customer provided the code so we can log in. Jason did provide us with the code. And that's... Uh,
and it's fixed. We no longer have the dark and bright spots on the bottom. Pure white, awesome. Before we end the video, let's go over some mailings that we received today. So let's start with package number one. This one is coming from Ben, Alabama. Okay, uh, uh, this is an iPod Touch. If I'm not mistaken, it came in for a charge import replacement. Uh, iPad 4th generation, passcode, the charge import is broken, some of the pins are missing. All right, so we'll do this in another video. And let's go over this package here. This one is coming from who? Cruise, California. Cruise says in here, thank you for fixing my Mercedes remote. I do have a question though. That's all what the paper says. I see a Mercedes. Oh, oh, this is a Mazda. Okay, so we shipped back the Mercedes key for the customer. And remember, we did a video on this. The customer also sent a Mazda key, and the Mazda key had some problems with components on it. So what the customer did is he bought a salvaged board that we can use components from to fix his other Mazda key. So we'll do that in a later video. And let's take a look at this one. It's unclear where this one is coming from. Let's open it. It looks like it's coming uh, from overseas because of all the, uh, all the customs document. MacBook, it's a 15 inch MacBook. I do not see any papers here. I hope the customer have a name on this box, otherwise we will not be able to look them up. That's why I always say to fill the mailing form and ship it along with the package so we know who that package is coming from. Oh, it's coming from Canada. Okay. I'll look up the customer on our system to see if he filled the mailing form. And we'll see what's going on with this MacBook and fix it. Probably do a video on it. Uh, this one is by Amazon, probably an order we did. So this is the X360 screen that we ordered from Amazon for a customer. It's just a screen. Uh, we'll probably do that on camera also. It's an HP X360 laptop, 15 inch. And finally we have what looks like an iMac. Yep, it's an iMac. And we have a mail-in form here with a cable. Uh, included is an additional video cable I purchased online in case uh, the original cable is damaged. Display fell out and pulled the cable. And that's it. That's it for the mail-ins. We have a lot of work to get done and a lot of videos to make. Hi, yes. Uh, I have a question. Okay, I have an iPhone 8 Plus. It's shattered from the back. Um, how much you guys charge? Uh, the that? back, the back cannot be fixed. I cannot tell you how many calls we get a day 
on changing the back glass for iPhone 8, iPhone X, iPhone XR. Uh, we do not do it as of yet. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.